Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to decorate some shoes with some Sharpies. So the first thing I need to do is I need to prep my shoes. I'm going to pull the shoestrings out and I'm just going to use some masking tape and tape off the soles. I'm going to try to run the masking tape real close to the canvas though so that I don't get any of the Sharpie down onto the sole of the shoe. These shoes are just ones that I picked up at Target. They're women's canvas shoes and you can purchase them many places. You don't have to do these. I put a link down in the description. However, I think they're probably a seasonal item. So if you're looking for these shoes sometime after the summer of 2020, you're probably not going to be able to find the same exact ones. I initially tried to go ahead and cover the eyelets of the shoes with some masking tape, but then decided it probably wasn't necessary. I didn't necessarily plan out my design for this. I just bought a couple of packages of markers and decided to find some colors that I liked that went together and choose my design kind of as I went along. On the toe of the shoe, I put a spiral. So I just took one of the purple markers and freehand it on a spiral. And then I wanted to widen that line, so I just made marks, just kind of up and down squiggly marks on that line to widen it. Then I just continued adding colors. I looked on the Sharpies and they don't really have any color names on the Sharpies so I'm not entirely sure exactly what colors these are but I used a couple of different shades of pink, a couple of different shades of purple, and a blue. When I moved over to do the same design on the right hand shoe, I noticed that for some reason the marker kind of spread out on the shoe a little bit more. So I don't know whether maybe the fabric had been treated with something a little bit different, but it spread out more than it did on the right hand shoe. So they don't exactly look the same. After I got finished with the toe of the shoe, I just continued to work my way around the shoe, doing different designs in all the different areas of the shoe.
Now that I have the shoes all covered with marker, I'm going to take some paper towels and wad it up and put it down inside of the shoes. Then I'm going to take some 70% isopropyl alcohol, the kind like you would just get in the pharmacy department of your local store, put that down inside of a spray bottle, and gently mist the shoes. I'm going to mist all the areas with alcohol that I have the marker on. Notice how when I spray the alcohol on the shoe, it kind of causes the marker to blend together in more of a watercolor fashion. After I finished spraying my shoes with alcohol, I set them outside for a little while so that all of the excess alcohol would evaporate away and the shoes would dry out. Then all I did was take the tape off of the soles and add back in my shoestrings. And this is how they turned out. I put a link to the shoes and to the two different packages of markers that I pulled colors from down in the description if you're interested. If you enjoy watching my videos, I sure would appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.